I started drinking at 14. And when I was 16, one of my best friends died of a drug overdose two days after his 18th birthday. And then two weeks later, uh, one of my ex-boyfriends passed away unexpectedly in his sleep. And that sent me into a spiral. I was drinking more than ever. I was partying more than ever. And at 17, I was pregnant. And when I turned 21, I was a single mom and I started spiraling again. And I cleaned up my act for a while, but I was definitely at rock bottom. When I was young, my cousin used to bring me to Hope Church. And I remember always thinking that this was a safe place. I never felt judged here. So when I was 21 and spiraling, I would still like sneak in the back door. I remember just trying to get past the people, passing out papers and not trying to make eye contact with anybody. Uh, I just wanted to be here for myself because I knew that God was, basically it was keeping me going. I really had no desire to get to know people. I just had this assumption that everyone was perfect. Everybody had their lives together but me. And I didn't, I thought I would be judged even though I didn't feel judged, but I thought it could definitely still happen. Um, during that time I met my now husband Alex and he saw all my mess and he stayed. So we started sneaking into church together. But then we just started getting connected. We started going to Hope Group and I would go to different events and just start to open up some. Um, in Hope Group I remember letting God start doing that healing work on me. Um, because I felt like my opinion mattered and I felt included. So I started volunteering in the dreamers room because I knew two things. I was good with kids and I was good with teenagers. And it was a great opportunity for me to be able to call greatness out of them while I continued to work on myself. Before we got married, we were doing premarital counseling with Pastor Dave and I knew when he talked about to us about marriage and that commitment, it's when I really surrendered my life to God because I knew that if I was going to be committed to this man, I needed to be committed to God first um, so that we could be successful as a family. And we've been here 12 years since then, and our kids love it here. They've built their lives here. They've built friendships here, and we continue to build our lives and friendships here. We're so grateful for being a part of seeing people's lives change on a regular basis. From here and being also in Elmira and just we keep inviting people. We're so thankful to see people we've known for years that are here now um, that are having their lives changed. And it's just a great opportunity to grow not only for ourselves, but for everyone around us.